Hi everyone, it's Darcy Blue. I'm out in the desert this morning. It's August and we've been having nice summer monsoon rains in the last few weeks and everything is showing new growth and new leaves. I'm looking here at some beautiful big ocotillo. That's Fokieria splendens. And these plants are really amazing. They grow leaves in response to the rainfall within just a couple of days. Otherwise, they stand bare and they look like dead sticks, but they're not really dead. They're just dormant. You can see this one has got a lot of new growth coming off of it. All those little leaves coming off of those stems eventually will turn into these very sharp thorns that you see on the plant. And in the spring they make beautiful red flowers that top the tops of the stems, but right now it's just these leaves in response to the beautiful soaking rains of summer in the desert here in Tucson. And Alcatillo is definitely a medicine that I really have found to be helpful for a lot of people. It's a, great for stagnant liver and stagnant energy in the pelvic area. It shows up for people as hemorrhoids, endometriosis, constipation, um, sexual debility, lack of libido, and almost always concurrently with a sense of feeling cut off from your source of passion for your vibrance, your life, your purpose, what you're here to do. And Akatillo, you can't see the flowers right now, but those flowers are bright red and this beautiful plant opens up freely to the sky, welcoming in energy from the sky, but yet it finds itself rooted in the earth. I kind of like to say they dance ecstatically grounded in the earth because they're so vibrant and they'll wave in the wind when it's blowing and just connects people with their root, with what connects them to the earth, what connects them to their source, their spirit, and yet is open wide and ecstatically receiving joy, receiving gifts from the universe, receiving abundance. There you can see Tucson downtown. And Akatio is one of the very few plants in this genus, Fokiaria. There are some in Africa. There's another one that grows in Baja, Mexico. It's called the Bujum tree. And I've the name, the Latin name has escaped me of the Bujum tree. It's Fokiaria something. Um, but it likes these hillsides, these open hillsides, lots of sunshine. It likes to grow in limestone. This, of course, is mostly basalt. We're here on over there is Tumamak Hill and we have Sentinel Peak or otherwise known as A Mountain which is a basaltic lava flow um, on top of the mountain and so these rocks are all lava volcanic basalt. And right here growing next to our Akatillo friend is Choya and these are the cactus that you run into them and they stick right into you and they they'll drop their arm and leave it stuck in you. So if you back into it unknowingly, it will hurt quite significantly. <laughs> and I think everybody's done it once, once they come here to the desert. I know I have. Um, but you can see it has lots of new growth as well coming off those stems. Fresh new growth. And earlier in the year, they grow these beautiful pink and yellow flowers and the buds of those flowers are delicious and edible but that's a story for another day 
Right next to me we have a baby saguaro. This is our grandmother, grandfather cactus of the desert. This is just a baby. And you can see on the hillside there's more, the bigger ones. The other plants you see out here, there's chaparral, larea, tridentata, has yellow flowers. This bright green friend here is jatropha, otherwise known as dragon's blood, but not like the incense. There's a Palo Verde tree. And back there in the distance, some prickly pear cactus and a barrel cactus. And right here next to us is Desert Senna, Senna Covesiae, I think. Could be wrong on that. I'll have to double check. But it's a Senna used for things that Senna is used for, constipation. And I don't use this plant much. I don't work with that in that way. I generally don't believe in using laxatives unless it's really an emergency situation, but addressing the underlying root cause of what's causing chronic constipation. And our friend over here, Ocotillo, is really good at that without being a strong laxative. It helps support the liver's good function so that you can do your processes normally. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Have a great day.